Hello and welcome back to Park Family Parley with Kieran Downey. It's race week once again and I am a little bit annoyed actually because I had a sombrero lying around this apartment somewhere that I had from something, some job I had. I had sombreros. I don't know whether it was back when I worked in clubs. Did we do a night then? Or... I don't know. But I definitely had a sombrero somewhere in this apartment. And I've obviously thrown it out. And I was coming home from work today and I was like, my God, do you know what would be brilliant? Doing my predictions videos with my little sombrero on. And I just don't, I just don't have it anywhere. So I'm a little bit annoyed with myself, to be honest, because how would I have known when I did a huge clear out that I would start a Formula One podcast and need my sombrero for Mexican race week. Past me was not thinking about future me here, to be honest with you. And for those listening on uh, like Spotify or Apple or Amazon Music or whatever, you won't, you won't know what I'm wearing because you don't watch this. But for those of you on YouTube, I feel like I've let you down. Anyway, as I said, it's race week and I'm gonna take these glasses off because the glare from the uh, lights is really annoying me. It's race week. It is the week of the Mexico City Grand Prix. I am very excited. I think some of the Grand Prix that we've got coming up, see, after this little break, the Grand Prix that we've had or that are coming up are just some of my favourites. Kota, one of my favourites, and that was a banger. Mexico City, I actually quite enjoy it. As I said, I think it does get slandered quite a bit, but I really enjoy Mexico, I enjoy the vibe, I enjoy everything about it. I love Brazil as well. Vegas, very much looking forward to it quite like Qatar and Abu Dhabi. Fan of Abu Dhabi as well, but we've still got some time before we get there. As I said, it's Mexico City this week, so it is time for some predictions. And let's kick it off with pole position. I'm going to put for pole position, Max Verstappen. What that man can do in a quality lap is unreal. And when you look at Austin, had George Russell not crashed, Max Verstappen would have been on pole. It's like towards the end of Q3, he can just kind of pull it all together. It's like the track has come to him, the car's on low fuel, he's probably stuck a fresh soft on, it just all works for him. It's like a perfect lap. And I just, I think Max Verstappen pole position, definitely. I am pretty confident with locking that one in, locking in a Max Verstappen pull. I feel like I don't need to explain it. I feel like I could say that for quite a few people, actually. I could probably say it for Lando, that Lando will get pole, because again, it's a, it's, he's got an incredibly quick car, and he's capable of a pole. Charles Leclerc, I would say, could also get pole. He's got, I, I would say, he's got a pretty capable car. He's a very good qualifier. But I'm happy with my decision. I'd like to lock it in, please. Max Verstappen, pole position. Now, for P3 in the race, now, you might call me delusional for these next picks because I am now gearing towards Max Verstappen winning the championship. I think he pretty much already has. So I'm gearing towards that. And I am gearing towards a Charles Leclerc P2 in the championship. And I'm also gearing towards a Ferrari championship win. So for P3 for the race, I'm going Oscar Piastri. I think he will have a little bit of a return to form this weekend. I don't think his outing in Austin was bad. I do think he had the pace towards the end of the race. Um, but I think he just kind of, the start of the race, I think was maybe just not, not great for him. I think he was out of position in qualifying. I think he'll have a little bit of a return to form and will be back on the podium. Oscar Piastri, back on the podium, P3 in Mexico City. P2 for the race, Max Verstappen. I think he will, as I said, I think he'll get pole, but it's a very long run down to turn one. It's a very long run. And I don't know whether he maybe gets off the line poorly or whether he's just got a little bit of a challenge, but I think he'll get pole and not be able to convert it into a win and maybe won't be leading the Grand Prix after 
turn one or maybe even turn four. But I think he'll have a decent weekend. I think he will again extend his lead in the championship. He will finish ahead of Lando and just further cement his championship win. And for P1, y'all already know what I'm going to say, don't you? P1 for the Mexico City Grand Prix. Charles Leclerc. Yes, I think Charles Leclerc could qualify second, maybe even third, hell, maybe even fourth. I think he'll get a good launch. I think he'll get a lovely little slipstream uh, down to turn one and we'll just, as I said, he could maybe start P4, P5. He'll get down and as the front runners are maybe battling it out between each other, he will sail on past. Yes, I am saying he will pull a move exactly like he did in Austin and uh, just get in front. I think he'll get in front after turn one or even maybe just get up to behind Max and then just play it carefully and get that dive bomb in in turn two, uh, turn four, sorry. But I'm saying Charles Leclerc wins. And I think once he's in the front, he's going, he's gone. Off he goes, sails into the distance, sails into the Mexican sunset and comes home a four-time winner in 2024, a Mexican Grand Prix winner, and just uh, close that gap up to Orlando Norris in the championship. I'm telling you, I think he's going to do it. I've got every faith. I've got every faith now that Charles Leclerc is coming second in the championship and that Ferrari will win the constructors. All right, now, my other predictions, and I think this might be quite a bold one, and I'm not entirely too sure it will happen, but I'm going off pure vibes. Lando Norris will DNF. Don't know why, I just feel like he could this weekend. I don't know, I, listen, I'm, as I said, I'm going off vibes. I don't know if he will crash. I don't know whether he'll have a car problem. I don't know, but I think he'll DNF. There's just something, there's just some feeling I have that he'll not finish the race, to be honest with you. I think it's a DNF for him. I think it's either, yeah, I think it's a DNF. I was going to say, I think maybe it's a DNF or it's like he finishes outside the points. I think it's the DNF. My next prediction lies with Sergio Perez and I really want him to do well. I really do. It's his home race. He had a complete disaster last year and um, crashed out immediately. I think we're going to see another Sergio Perez disaster class. I don't think he'll crash. I don't think he'll DNF. I don't think it'll be anything like that. I just think he's going to have a terrible qualifying and I think he's going to have a terrible race. Really, I really, really do. I don't think he'll finish in the points. I think it'll just be an all-round awful weekend for Perez. As I said, I just think it's a bad qualifying, a bad race. I think he's going to get challenged. I think there's just so many of the new... I just think there's so many people that are driving better than him. Like, I do think he's getting out-qualified by Colapinto. Lawson, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, I just think at the, the end, I think that sort of top 10 is, you know, your Max is, your Lando is, your Charles is, Carlos, Lewis, George, Oscar, and then I think you've got your Hulkenbergs, your Lawson's, your Colapintos, even maybe Albon, all just kind of in and around that, your Sonodas, all just filling up those last few points positions, and sort of the, the ref, you're sort of 11, 12, 13s. Perez is behind that. I think he's he's sitting low down. I don't think, I actually don't think he's making it out of Q3 in the qualifying session. So yeah, another disaster class for Perez. And finally, I think this is going to be another weekend where the rookies perform better than their seasoned counterparts. Specifically, well, there's only really two rookies now. Specifically, Franco Colapinto and Liam Lawson, I think, will both make it into, uh, into Q3 in the qualifying. I think Sonoda and Albon will get knocked out in Q2. And I also think that Colapinto and Lawson will finish in the points, whereas Albon and Sonoda will not. So I think we're looking at another wee... Austin vibe 
with, I think, Lawson's qualifying lap in Austin was phenomenal. Absolutely incredible. And that V-carb getting Q, uh, P3. Absolutely insane. And I think he will definitely get into Q3. So will Franco Colapinto, and they will finish in the points. They are very good drivers that are quite aggressive. They're not afraid to get their elbows out and get fighting. And I think their defending skills are great. And I do think that they will battle right to the very end and get those points. I have every faith in them. I don't know where they'll finish in the points, but I do reckon they're getting points. And we'll all be sat here on Sunday like, woo, go rookies. So, yep, yeah, I'm putting it down. I'm locking it in. The rookies will do better than their seasoned counterparts. Franco Colapinto and Liam Lawson, Q3 appearances, points finishes, better than Albon and Sonoda, who will be out of the points and and a Q2 knockout. Sergio Perez, disaster class, Q1 knockout, can't even get into the points, finishes towards the back of the grid, disaster class. Lando Norris, DNF. I don't want him to DNF, but I just feel it in my bones. And then Max on pole, Oscar P3, Max P2, Charles Leclerc P1. And that is everything from us. We will be back on Saturday after the practice sessions because let me have a look here because it's another late race in the UK yeah practice two FP2 doesn't start till 11 which means it won't be over till after midnight so we'll be back on the Saturday morning to discuss everything that happened in practice back on the Sunday morning to discuss everything that happened in the quali and then back on Monday for everything Grand Prix it's not a sprint race this weekend it is business as normal, but we will be back for the sprints next week in Brazil. But that is everything from us. Enjoy the rest of your week. We will see you at the weekend to discuss all the action from Cars Out on Track. Love you. Bye.